What's up guys and welcome back to our YouTube fishing family to AFNS Outdoors. I'm Justin Lewis and here's a quick video for some of you that may be looking to get away for a couple days and thinking where should we go to do some fishing? Well today we are up on beautiful Lake of the Woods out of Arneson's Rocky Point and I am staying in one of their sleeper shacks. So this is a very reasonable thing to do for a couple days. I'm up here for I believe three nights, two full days, but I got up here about half a day early and I'm staying until they pick us up in the morning. So really we get about three full days of fishing, three nights, it's absolutely awesome. So here's a quick look at what you guys can expect out of a sleeper shack at Arneson's. So as you guys can see, there are some houses. Now I don't think these right here belong to Arneson's. I think these red ones do, but this pod right out here, I believe is a different group. But, you guys can see they have some houses, but they are pretty well spread out, which is nice. And then as you guys come in, this is kind of what to expect, because the first time we were up here, we didn't really know what to expect, what to bring or anything else. Um, we had seen some pictures, but I thought this little video might help some of you um, in deciding if you want to come up here, if this is the right thing for you, and if it is, what to kind of bring along and what to expect. So, as you guys come in, there is a stovetop. There's a four burner stove top with an oven, which is very, very handy. Um, you know, you always plan on eating some fish while you're up here, but having the stove, having the oven is very handy. As you can see here, I am once again making some breakfast. Gotta love the hash browns. So you can bring up a cooler, bring some extra food, um, you know, little pizzas, lasagna, whatever you want, you can stick in the oven or cook on top. Um, so very nice and handy. There is a gas furnace, so it stays nice and toasty in here. Um, there are two gas powered lights as well as three, there's two out here and one in the bathroom, solar powered lights, which is nice um, for that extra light at night um, when you're not running the gas powered lights. Now, as far as holes go, um, it depends on the size of the house you get. I believe they do have different sizes. So this is a four person sleeper shack, which means there are four sets of holes similar to this. So each person can have their own designated fishing spot and they each get two holes. And then with that, there's a card table and there is an emergency giant big buddy heater down there. In case something were to go wrong with the propane, not that that's ever expected, but something happened in the furnace, there's always a backup in case you guys need it. There's also a very large scale. It has all the limits written on it, or not limits, but uh, size length requirements on it so that you know what can be kept and what has to be released. And then from there, Artisans is real nice. They give you a giant, uh, a giant pail of fresh water. So you, um, I always bring up some water, uh, but they do provide you with fresh drinking water, a giant jug of it. So I probably got some extra things that you guys don't really need because I did bring my portable shack up with me. Um, there is a bathroom. I'll go ahead and show you the bathroom. Just in case you are curious, it's not glamorous. It's just a bucket, but there you go. There's the bathroom. So there's the bathroom, which is nice. The other thing that I really like, smoke detector, carbon monoxide alarm. That's just, you know, inner fireman coming out of me. So I do really like that, but it's very comfortable. These shacks are nice, big shacks. You do need to bring your own bedding, bring your own bedding, bring your own pillow, bring your own blankets, that kind of stuff. I just bring a sleeping bag and a blanket. Um, but I fit on these, which is the other thing that I really like. I fit on these. I'm 6'4 and I fit on these just fine. Uh, so they're nice and big. But other than that, bring your fishing stuff, bring some food, bring some drinks and bring some buddies you're in for a good time. My buddies abandoned me this time. Not pointing any fingers, but I'm looking at you too. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just a quick little video for you guys of what to expect if you guys come up here out of Arneson's Rocky Point. Fishing report, fishing's been okay. Walleye have been moving through. Quite a few walleye, quite a few sauger. The best part for me has been the eel pout. Lots and lots of burbot moving through, and that has led to a lot of fun, light, tackle action uh, with a very strong fighting fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We have new videos out every single Thursday, 6 p.m. Central, 
right here on AFNS Outdoors. And until next time, guys, take care.